our species is coming to a point like in the movie the matrix between choosing the red pill and the blue pill all of us are being asked to question the very foundation of our beliefs <clears throat> And we're realizing that we're involved in this larger media game that is very different than you first thought. You see, this is the real choice. <laughs> real choice is do you want to participate in a new paradigm of love? Or do you want to participate in a paradigm of fear? That's the choice which every human being has to ask themselves. That is the red and the blue pill. That is the big question that you have to understand. This is the first choice before all other choices. Because if, if you go this route, if you go into the old paradigm of fear that we have always been in, we are always being presented with the same alternatives. All the options are controlled by those who do not have our best interest at heart. We have to build a new world. I know that sounds insane. I know what you're thinking. Another tall, bald, white guy thinking that he's got some answer, thinking that he's going to convince everybody about some plan. Good luck. I actually have a good idea. Well, good is a relative term. I'm in front of the Bank of International Settlements. This is where all the money is. Switzerland. Don't you want some of it? I know this may sound a bit strange because I've invented something. I've invented something that changes how humans think. And I know most humans don't want to think. They really don't. This is a synergizer table behind me. You can sit six people around it, turn all the cards, change your life by seeing something different. But you think people listen to caps and sweep? Oh no, they sure don't. Because Captain Sweep is going to tell them things they don't want to know. Most people don't want to know. People don't want to know that they're slaves. Who wants to think that they're a slave? Nobody. Where do you go to find your truth? Look at the Americans. They put so much time and effort into getting your attention. Trump or Biden, Trump or Biden, Trump or Biden, Trump or Biden. But who is really behind the scenes making these things happen? You know, who are we as a species that is looking out for itself? Who are we as humans who want to create a loving world? We're very different than these other humans who want to fuck things up. When things are fucked up, that's when the aliens get to steal everything from all the humans, right? Is it a good idea for humans to make war against each other? No, it's not a good idea at all. We're actually nice people. 
We're good people. We want to help each other, but we don't. There's a reason they don't want you to think. They don't want you to get control of your mind. Your mind is the most important thing out there. That's what you have to realize. You have been told all your life to be a certain way. Do you really think that that way is the way? At what point do you go to yourself? What is my mind thinking? And why is my mind thinking it? This is where humor comes in. Because anyone who says anything that goes against the narrative is usually seen as insane. Americans are very good at getting everybody's attention. Canadians are very good at sitting on a couch. I know Canada doesn't want to hear that. Canadians don't want to hear that. Okay. We don't need much more than a good buzz. But Canadians kind of think about things a bit, you know? We kind of ponder things. If we're the second biggest country in the world, and we got like a low population, should there be some sort of equation where we would be kind of rich? Like, shouldn't the average Canadian be like really wealthy because there's so much water here? Like, why? Why does the crown own everything? I thought that they stole everything from the Indians, but they don't own it. But they do own it. I mean, who owns all the water in Canada? That's a big question I like to know. Now we're getting into very scary territory, right? The world is changing right before our eyes. They are trying to get you to believe something, Neo. <laughs> and I know you don't give a fuck. <laughs> The new normal is something that you and I and most human beings have no freaking clue about and something we don't want any part of, but it's happening, isn't it? Slowly, like lobsters in a big bowl. It's fire, dude. Water's hot. It's boiling. Slow boil. Try to get out of the pot while the lobster's breaking down. But what's happening inside? The lobsters are boiling to death. You can say it's this, you can say it's that, but we all know that we have no idea of what they're trying to do. At some point, you reach a point in your own mind that you have to format your own mind you have to look at your own mind you have to dive deep inside to figure out what do you believe and what do you not believe most people are not going to address the real problem because most people are just trying to live their lives just trying to exist just trying to put food on the table just trying to put gas in the car just trying to have a home have a life, have a family, what most humans are doing. But there are some other humans who aren't quite like that, are they? They just want a lot more. They don't look at life the same way as you or me. Not at all. They think about occupying countries, taking over central banks starting wars and making shit happen that makes the whole species goes nuts i know i know i know you either don't want to hear about it or it doesn't interest you but it's affecting everybody whether you like it whether you want it or not 
when I start with someone to try to teach them the inflow matrix, I ask them, what are your seven lifetime goals? I ask this because I want to know where you want to go. What do you want to create with your life? What do you want to do with your life? And I found when I went through school that I was rarely asked, what do I want to do? Or why am I here? Or did I had no control over the curriculum over what I was learning. And so my interest wasn't quite there because it had nothing to do with what I actually wanted to learn. They were forcing me to learn things that I did not see the reason for. School is indoctrination into a belief system that maintains the powers that be. We ain't the powers that be, right? So you have to ask yourself a question. As an individual human being, how am I going to deal with this insanity and bullshit that surrounds me? If you dig deeper and deeper and deeper, you have to ask this question. There's you. And then there's these levels of society all around you and above you that are focused on controlling you, the individual human. And together, we're united. But when you're alone, you're apart. Together, we're united. Alone, you're apart. In the thinking, you got to start to understand that the big guy, the big cheese, the spirit, the love, the full power that is within you doesn't come from some priest, some religion, some anything. Every human being has their own connection to source. And that source is the most powerful thing in the universe. And that's what they don't want you to know. They don't want you to become empowered to be the Neo because then the shit is gonna hit the fan, right? You might think you're a Muslim. You might think you're a Christian. You might think you're a Jew. You might think you're something. All of those identities are just groupings of humans to get them to do a certain thing, but it comes down to the individual to source God consciousness. You're not going to get to God consciousness through some group of people that came up with a belief system that you don't actually really understand. It's in you all the time. It exists now. Our mind is our connection into this multidimensional universe. And if you don't control your mind, then who does? Do you? Do you really think that you control your mind? It's a very important question. Ask yourself this question. Do you think it's a good idea to chop down the last remaining old growth forests. Do you think it's a good idea? If you were in charge of the planet, would you allow them to cut down the last remaining old growth forests? This is a, a very seldom asked question to all the humans on this planet. But I'll bet you that you if you were in charge of the planet, would go, you know what? I think we're going to keep these old forests around. They seem to be doing some good things. The animals live there. They're doing something which nothing else is doing. So let's just keep those forests around, right? Let's just keep them going. Seems logical, right? But why are they cutting them down? 
what kind of insanity is in the minds of the people that think it's a good idea to cut down the last remaining old growth forests? I mean, really, really, really ponder that. Think about that. Ponder that. Think about that. Ponder that. Think about that. Please, you have to break free. And the only way to break free is to get control of your mind. How do you organize your mind? It's the most important question in the world right now. How do you organize your mind? I bet you don't have a clue. You have no idea how to organize your mind. It's your most valuable thing and yet someone else is organizing it for you. Why do you let that happen? You have to control your mind deal. There is a war going on right now for your mind. It's a paradigm war. The people here are very different from the people here. Where are you? Which paradigm do you want to play in? Which paradigm are you going to design your ideal job in? Where do you want to work? What do you want to do? Do you want to be a slave to these guys? Or do you want to be a pioneer with these guys? I know you think I'm strange. I know you think I'm white. I know you think I'm bald. And I know you think I'm male. And I know you think I'm whatever. Frank, you think I am. I am that I am. But what I'm telling you is that this map is the most important map to the human species. It is the first map. It's the number one map. It's the conceptual map that starts us in the right direction. Do you want a world based upon fear or do you want a world based upon love? That's the big question. Everyone has to ask themselves, which world do you want to live in? Which world do you want to support? Which world do you want to contribute to? Personally, I, I, I think that the love paradigm is a good way to go. Like if I had to make a choice, I think that love, being kind, being nice, listening, helping, contributing, you know, doing things that are good for one another. These are the, the basis of what makes humans feel good. And if that is the envelope, if that is the container, if that is the conceptual mechanism, why don't we choose love? Love is a feminine, heart-based, feeling-centered. It's a choice that we all make, that we all have to make at some point in our life. If I make a video, I am just hoping that this can aid the whole species towards love. Don't you see that it's a good idea? I know it may be a bit strange for humans to see a human with a conceptual map behind them. 
and you're going, why is this guy talking this way? I would just like to say that in this present moment, this human being is saying there is a major distinction between the old paradigm and the new paradigm. The old paradigm is based upon fear. The new paradigm is based upon love. There is a big difference between these two paradigms. The worlds are different. The frequencies are different. There is a line in the sand that we all have with each other where we open up and we just say, you know, I'm, I'm coming into this with a good heart. I'm coming into this with a good mind. I'm coming into this with the best I can be. And this is very different from coming into a situation that is military. That is very different than coming into a situation where you're trying to take and get and grasp. Right? We as human beings have been attacking each other and hurting each other. And it doesn't work. Like deep down, we have to understand that as a species, and I'm speaking to the entire species, to all human beings, this message is going to all human beings, that we are at a choice point for our species, and we have to make a choice. And this choice is in the present moment, every moment that we have, and that our future is a loving one. Our past is a, a fear-based programming system that we no longer need to use in the present moment. You can bring in a breath. You can bring in awareness. You can bring in conscious awareness, intention that does not have alternative options. We are here to evolve. I have often thought that if I died and I left one video, and that video could be a catalyst to the species to begin a new direction, to align with higher principles to really be the video that changes the nature of how we exist. This might be that video. There are humans here who want an ethical business thinking system, business thinking system, something that is real, something that doesn't hurt people, something that is good for people, something that does not get corrupted. That is what we need. That is what I am asking for. That is where we are going. And war is not something that is allowable. We have to stop war on this planet. Language is a very funny thing. What if? 